Yo, it's your boy, Straight Boss OV8, and I'm here with Jake Cutler. We teamed up for a Red Dead Online video. Every once in a while, we team up here on the channel. We do uh, Red Dead Online videos, and last one we did was a fishing guide. So if you want to learn how to be a bass pro fisher, go ahead and check the link in the description. But in this video, with the, the XP bonus for the bounty hunting this week, we got a couple more tricks and some maybe some strategies you want to try out for bounty hunting to make it a little bit easier for you. Uh, we did a ultimate uh, bounty hunting guide oh, six months ago, seven months ago, something like that. And there were a couple things that we left out. Um, obviously, dragging out bounties was left out of that because I did that in another video, which why bounty hunting is the first role you should buy and why it is the first role you should buy. That link will also be in the description, as well as the Ultimate Bounty Hunting Guide. But with that said, let's get into it, and we'll start off with Jay. All right, so the number one tip that I first off use for bounties is look what guns you use. Now, I use revolvers, doesn't matter which ones, helps you shoot faster, um, better overall, dual wield too, that helps. And shotguns, spray, it helps on the $3 signs of more people. Now here is Ovi with his gun of choice. All right, and everyone knows here on the channel, I'm a real big fan of the bolt action rifle. I use it for literally everything. But when it comes to bounty hunting, I like repeaters. I prefer to use repeaters. Uh, another, you know, one of the tools of the trade is bolas. Speaking of bolas, they are on sale today. Uh, this is the last night of the weekly sale. There'll be an update tomorrow morning, which means these will not be on sale. These bolas are on sale at 50% off. Okay, these prestigious bounty hunter ones, these top three right here, very expensive. So go ahead and stock up on, go ahead, buy your three max that you can get. All right. Also, I'll have a link in the description about those newer bolas for prestigious bounty hunters. And you can find out if they're worth it or not within that video. All right, here, let's get into some strategies. Here you can see here, this is one of these bounties where it says stake out the area and wait for the bounty target to show up. I learned this from Jay. Um, yeah, you don't need to do that. Just go in there blasting. Kill all the NPCs. There's normally five, six, seven of them. And then the bounty target shows up. The key to doing this strategy is staying on your horse or have someone in your posse stay on their horse. And you just watch that radar down at the bottom left-hand corner wherever you put your radar and watch that like a hawk. Because when that bounty comes in, you need to go to it immediately. Sometimes they're on a horse, and they will take off. So you watch that. Kill the NPCs, then bam, you go right to them. Stay on your horse if you're doing it solo especially. And here, this was a comment that was in our ultimate guide to bounty hunting before. Is And it's a good comment, honestly. Is go ahead and bounty hunt in offensive. There's no, there's no reason to bounty hunt in offensive. I've had people, I've had randos come up to me while I've been bounty hunting, and they purposely killed my bounty target. So, it's just better to be in defensive and not get screwed with, because we all know what it's like to be screwed with in free roam, in offensive. Okay, here i just uh, talking about how you can get your tonics and your weapon wheel lined up. You know, the tonics you want to use, the provisions you want to use, have those ready before you go in. This is a $3 sign bounty. You see there's a Maxim gun there. So yes, I'm using a tonic. Um, Maxim guns will make you Swiss cheese if you do not take out the shooter on the Maxim guns. This particular bounty had two Maxim guns. So we had two shooters to take out. Normally you could fire at them rather uh, quickly, take out the shooter. Um, I've never had a bounty target be equipped on a Maxim gun when I went in. So when you take out those Maxim gun shooters, go ahead, you know, don't worry about killing a bounty target. Um, if anyone's killed a bounty target that was already, like, on a Maxim gun right off the start at the beginning of the bounty, go ahead and comment that, because it's never happened for me. I've never once seen it. But, yeah, you can see here, quick work, you know, if you're doing it in a posse, you have some spacing. Here, Jay Cut showing you that, yes, you could carry a bounty target and still fire a sidearm. You know, if you got a couple remaining chodes uh, straggling to come and try to save the bounty, go ahead and equip your sidearm. And, um, you know, you can even reload it as well as firing your sidearm while carrying the bounty target to your bounty wagon or your horse, what have you. And here, I'm just showing the spacing of this. You can see Jay Cut and another person we had in our posse push the other side of the building. I was on the other side of the building. Boom, they went running right away. 
They ran right by me. I chased them down. So have proper spacing if you're doing this with a posse. Have proper spacing. It's, it's real beneficial. All right, and here's Jay with another tip. This tip I learned off of just kind of messing around. It works for the cause damage to lure the bounty target. Um, you just throw Toxic Moonshine, and they come flying in. It's a lot faster, saves a lot of time during the bounty mission instead of causing the damage, killing, blowing up stuff, all that. Um, and this is a, honestly a good thing to use anyway because Toxic Moonshine is kind of pointless in the game. The only thing it's really good for is the objective for Moonshiner. So when you're making this, this is a way just to use it, get out of your weapon wheel, less throwables, you know, it helps you sort out your weapon wheel, and it makes bounty a lot easier. All right, yeah, that's a that's another strategy I use that I picked up from Jay. Um, yeah, the Toxic Moonshine, bam, it's never failed. you got to cause damage and lure the target to your area. It works every single time. You throw that Toxic Moonshine, within five seconds, the, the bounty target shows up less than five seconds honestly and uh it's never failed so definitely go ahead and if you have the moonshine rolling you can make toxic moonshine go ahead and try that strat you'll get it in no time all right guys well that's it for this video just a couple more tricks and strategies go ahead and check out the links in the description for the bounty hunting guide the very first roll you should get for new players is the bounty hunter roll that'll be in there as well as jni's fishing guide